The National Museums of Kenya launched an app to help the country's wildlife authorities track and even log rare and common mammals and record whether the species and their habitat are thriving. The phone app allows users to contribute what animals they see and where they were spotted. Here now is a report from Nakuru, Kenya. Take a safari across the Kenyan bush and you will spot areas teeming with animals. Kenya is rich in biodiversity. The Kenyan Wildlife Service, KWS, says around 25,000 species of animals and 7,000 species of plants have so far been recorded. But assessing the health of the animals and their habitats is a big task. People concerned with animal welfare want to know more than just where the animals are located. They want to know the condition the animals are in and whether their habitat can support them. Now there is a free mobile phone app which allows users to record all the details of any mammals they spot. And this app now helps us to really map where these animals are and if they're in trouble we can get the authorities to come and help us. And it, and it gives me a great opportunity to show the tourists exactly where they are. And, and when you're on foot, it's actually sometimes more difficult to find some of the animals because they spread out far and wide. The free app means all Kenyans can become citizen scientists and support the wildlife authorities as they in turn care for the welfare of the animals. The app is called Mammal Atlas Kenya, which is shortened to Mekenya. When someone sees a mammal, they take a photo and post it on the app, giving details of the mammal's age, species, habitat. We want also to encourage the general public to participate in conserving mammals. And one of the basic ways they can actually do that is whenever they see mammal anywhere, they submit a record. That way is one of the most important way of them even participating in conserving mammals. This information can also be used in future if we want to predict where animals will be in future because we will look at the type of habitat where they are at the moment and maybe we'll ask ourselves 50 years to come from now, what will have happened to their habitat and their numbers. Wildlife services argue it's hard to keep track of the animals because they are spread so far and wide. Also, there aren't enough experts in Kenya to cover all areas. It will also include uh, recording the, the breeding uh, condition. Specifically, if you see an um, endangered species and you see that it has young ones, that is quite encouraging because we know that that species is actually will, will survive in, in the environment. Number two, again, it will be a game changer because it will also capture the habitat type where that species is found. If the habitat is in good condition, then we know that the, the endangered species will survive in that particular habitat in, in long run. Drought across parts of Kenya has seriously threatened species like rhinos, elephants and lions as it has reduced the amount of food available. Bureau Report, World of Africa.